everyone welcome or welcome back today's video is gonna be really fun i'm gonna be drawing anime characters from memory so how this works is i'm gonna be drawing them without looking at any reference photos while i'm drawing which doesn't sound that all too challenging for maybe a lot of people but it's gonna be a challenge for me because i work with reference photos almost exclusively so this will be really fun so this first one we're starting out fairly easy this is naruto and he's a very iconic anime character i feel like everyone knows what he looks like i haven't watched naruto in years but it's one of those things that you kind of see in your peripheral vision just because he it's a very popular anime and it's also one of those shows that i first started to draw as a child so i've paid very close attention to the style time naruto's drawing style was different from other animes that i was drawing at the time too so i was used to these very big eyes and big hair and those very fine hair strands but with naruto his eyes aren't as large like in general with the show in itself their eyes aren't as large as other anime characters it actually looks about the size of a human eyeball but with the classic anime shape he also has hair that isn't as crazy of a volume it just isn't poofy and it stays very closely cropped to his head and also his outfit is very iconic and very memorable so he has this wide necked jacket on a lot of those things I remembered very easily, but it was in the execution that had a, I had a little trouble with. So even though I remembered all of those things, I still ended up with a Naruto that looks a little bit older than I intended. I was going for the classic season 1 Naruto with this one, and I'm looking at his actual pictures now, and I see that my drawing looks closer to the older Naruto. But having said that, this one was still the closest I came to getting it right, and you'll see why. So for this second one, I'm doing Aisaka Taiga from Torodora, and this I should have gotten right because I watch that opening song at least once a month and for one it's just so catchy but also I just love the art style for the show and it's just so frustrating but I made Taiga look just like any other uh, anime girl it, it just, just doesn't stand out as being Taiga this drawing and I think it's because when you dissect her character and her style, there's not a lot about it that particularly stands out. She has this big hair and big eyes, kind of, and this very small nose. So the same problem I had with Naruto, where I failed in the execution, but this time, because there isn't a lot of those distinctive details to her to work with i ended up with a drawing that looks like an anime character but it doesn't really scream taiga to me so for this next one it's kind of a cop-out um because even though i haven't watched inuyasha in i don't even know like a decade i did fan art for seshumaru a few months ago so the details are still fresh in my head for him so this wasn't i wasn't really struggling so much with this one on this stage it's because although this one isn't at all perfect i think i still got the details good enough that i can build up on it for future stages but i did almost forget his little like front part for his bangs which is absolutely important because this shows his moon mark on his forehead so i almost forgot that and i think i got it right on the inking stage but not for this one also i know i know this is a very weird placement for him i really don't like how it looks like he's leaning on taiga right there but otherwise this initial um sashumaru sketch turned out okay for me so this next one is Ryuji, which is he also from Toradora, and that's because while I was looking back and trying to get ideas for this video and trying to make a list of all the anime shows I've watched, I learned that I haven't really watched that many and I asked my friend Seth, who was, was my anime expert friend, because we also watched a lot of these shows together when we were kids. 
she was asleep at the time so and i didn't really get a reply so i was just working with the handful that i've seen and remembered so ryoji is the simplest character in this whole spread just design wise his hair kind of just falls around his head with the gravity pulling it down so he doesn't have all those flying hair strands around his head like naruto does but one thing that i've always remembered about his about him are his eyes his eyes are so small that they just stand out from all the other the other anime designs that that i personally know and even within the show it is relatively small compared to the other characters i can't remember if this was addressed at all in the show but yeah his eyes are very distinctive but other than that he's like a very simple design and so i ended up severely underestimating him and you'll see for this sketch stage it isn't as polished as all the others because i thought well i didn't need to but then later on you guys will see how i completely messed him up just because of that so this next one is marjorie from shakugan nushana and which i was just so obsessed with the show back in high school was well, just the first season which is what was aired on tv5 at the time but i just really loved her design and i remember just drawing her before from memory too so i thought this was gonna be easy but this is pretty sad i was gonna say that i love her hair most of all because of how memorable it was and it's the one thing that i just vividly remembered so much but i looked at, i'm looking it up right now and i i remembered it wrong i can't even but she has the strands that are sort of going around her ponytail and for some reason all these years i thought that was a bun so i drew it as a bun and then she has her like long ponytail underneath that so that was completely wrong also wears lipstick which is surprisingly very hard to draw when you're drawing anime i don't know why i've always found it hard to draw makeup on anime you just really have to be delicate with it so yeah that one was <laughs> embarrassing but so this next one is a lovely little surprise her name is Mufiu. She was from this anime called Galaxy Angel. And my friends and I used to <laughs> co own a lot of anime DVDs back in the day, so this was one of them. So it's not really, it wasn't really aired in TV5 like most of these things that I'm drawing right now. But uh, Mufiu has this very big flowers on the sides of her hair and she also has those this fine strands that i keep on talking about but this is what i'm used to for drawing hair for animes this was also the hair from mirmo and a lot of other animes that i was watching at the time so this design overall is what i mean when i say the classic anime design at least for the kinds of anime that i was watching at the time so the process for this initial sketch I did for Milfio really was easier than the others, I feel like. And so this last one is Shana, and she's also from the same show as Marjorie. At first, when I started drawing her eyes, it was a very similar shape to Milfio's, and it just didn't seem right to me. So I started changing the shape very subtly. But I think it changed her expression a little bit from innocent and curious to a little more thoughtful and contemplative. Because Shauna in the show is misunderstood as being unfeeling and cold, but she's actually very calculating in expressing her emotions. So at least I felt like the change really pushed her closer to what her character is. This, this show's style in drawing hair, especially Shana's, is one of the things that I really adopted into my own style. Her, so her hair is drawn in, in such a peculiar way. It has very sharp lines and then the strands start off in big volumes and then they start meeting each other almost very sharply until it looks like they've disappeared into each other. I don't know, it's just something that I really thought was cool. So now we are going over the details with a darker pencil 
For Naruto, I couldn't remember if he had two or three lines on each of his cheeks. Ended up going with two, which I know now is wrong. Should have gone with three. But I did get the Konoha symbol right, which isn't very surprising because we pretended to be ninjas a lot growing up. And so I ended up drawing this symbol a lot as a kid. Also with Taiga, I changed her expression a little bit because Taiga, Taiga is very expressive, but somehow it looks less like her. And after all this, I don't... I don't even know anymore. I couldn't figure out what went wrong with her hair. At first I thought it was too thick, but actually I'm looking at the proper reference photos now. I should have drawn her front bangs to be much longer so that it curves into her face. That's just, that's just really disappointing and I'm gonna be moving on to Seshomaru. I still maintain that I did well on this one. He looks, it looks like off-brand Seshomaru, but at least it resembles him in some way. And that's just the best that I could have hoped for for him. This next one, Ryuji, is where I was supposed to be finishing up the details for him and really making this part of the sketch be as close to what I think he looks like as possible. But then I didn't do that because I was still too um, overconfident and even on this stage I felt like I could finish him off on the latest stage which is the inking. And again, you'll see later on how wrong I was. And for everyone else on this side of the page, it was just a breeze because I set the foundations well and also I knew these characters well enough that just this stage of do doing up the final details wasn't that much of a challenge. For this last stage, I am just bringing everything together in with my brush pen. I love really fin finishing up my sketches with a brush pen because it's just so dark and I love the lines that I can make with them. I feel like brush pens are great for drawing anime with and it's just great for making sharp lines that would be hard to replicate with um, a regular pen. So I really liked how Naruto went. Taiga looked even less like Taiga from that sh from the stage before that and it's, that's just... I don't even know. But I, at least I did remember to put Sesho Maru's front part while I was inking. I'm really, really proud of myself for that. It's just a minor detail but it, it's really important for him I feel like. And then this Ryuji is just a mess. I don't even know who this is. This isn't Ryuji. He deserves better than this. But at least it kind of looks like an, an anime character, just not him. I feel like I could have done so much better with him. There was so much potential for me to get him right out of all of them. And I didn't. This right page was my favorite to do because I, I really did lay down the foundations for 
all three of these characters that when I was inking it was just it just went really smoothly and I'm just happy that I ended it positively I did go over Shanna's hair with more red and it wasn't intentional I was going for the dark haired human version of Shanna and it ended up looking like flame haze Shana which is great and so I just didn't color in her pupils that much too because she did have um, flaming eyes in that version So this is how it all went. What do you guys think? I'm so sorry if any of these characters are your favorite. I still hope that you guys had fun watching it. But that is it for this video. I will be seeing you again soon.